Hi, my name's Mark Regas and I'm an occupational hygienist. And I've been able to say that for over 12 months now. It's kind of funny to think that I'm doing a job that I didn't even know that much about five years ago. But how did I get here? What have I actually learned in my first 12 months? I was just going about my business, selling safety products such as the comfortable Secure 2 earmuff, the reliable PS500 gas detector, and the quality R1 half-face respirator ready pack. I can even thank Scott Safety for putting me on this career path, as it was a Scott Safety worker who first told me about the basic principles in occupational hygiene course. And I thought, hmm, that sounds interesting. And that was when I first heard about the magical school called the University of Wollongong. Ooh. That's where I got to meet Professor Apthorpe, <laughs> Professor Whitelaw, and even got to glimpse the elusive Hendo the house elf. And I was fully able to immerse myself in the world of occupational hygiene. I was halfway through my magical education when the West Farmers Industrial Safety Group acquired GreenCap. And I was able to swing through the corporate jungle from Protect the Royal Safe to GreenCap and officially begin my career as an occupational hygienist. I quite often thought of myself as a baby hygienist, as I was quite often um, having to learn how to walk, having to learn how to crawl, but most of the time stumbling, falling over and making an absolute mess of things, but all the while moving forward in the right direction. Every new job and every new opportunity was a learning experience where I was trying to be like SpongeBob hygiene pants and absorbing as much information as I possibly could without losing all that information when my brain was full, which happened to be on a daily occurrence, unfortunately, but a little bit of it stuck. Have you ever had that situation where the more you're learning about something, the more you realise you actually you don't know? So most of the time I felt like Jon Snow, who was always being told, you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> I always heard about um, my habits of being an electronic hoarder and keeping everything in the cloud has really come in handy. Being able to access all my information, codes of practice, reference material, wherever I am, has really been beneficial. But as much as I'm trying to get rid of all these big, bulky paper documents, there certainly were the days where you felt buried by paperwork and administration processes, and everything I was doing had nothing to do with occupational hygiene. But I just had to keep reminding myself that every job has paperwork and it's something you can't avoid wherever you go. I always heard about this passionate network of occupational hygienists, that all you had to do was pick up the phone to get guidance, advice, help, whatever it may be. And that's certainly been true in my experience. And I've just come to realise that we're all just a proud bunch of hygiene nerds. <laughs> I was able to attend my very first conference last year, which was fantastic. Got to meet a whole bunch of new people, attend a whole range of different sessions. Um, but the main thing I took away is that hygienists love to party and really love to dress up, as we saw last night. Something I've learned about myself is that I find mould really fascinating, much to my wife's disgust. <laughs> Um, I got a little bit obsessed there for a while trying to get my hands as much information as I possibly could um, and I know I'm only barely just scratching the surface. It's been quite amusing having a job that when most people have no idea what you actually do. And so when you tell them, they think they know what occupational is, they think they know what hygiene is, you put the two together and usually you get that face. Oh yes, that's nice and interesting. Quite often, heading to site, I felt like Batman with his utility belt, with all this equipment we get to use. And I, most of our clients and our workers have no idea what the equipment is actually doing, but deep down we know they're secretly jealous that we get to play with all this really fun equipment. But being a hygienist is actually more like being a Jedi. When we get sent to these far-flung planets, workplaces, where we have to use our mystical knowledge of the Force, occupational hygiene, to keep the peace, protect workers' health. And just like Jedis, we have mentors who are there to guide and direct <laughs> young Padawan hygienists like myself. Being part of the AOH mentoring program is fantastic. My mentor is Kerry Burton, and I've got to say, it's much nicer visiting Wollongong than the Dagobah system. And I know my journey has just begun, and I've got no idea where I'm going to end up, but it's certainly been exciting so far. So much so, I think someone should make a TV show about our occupation. Don't worry about keeping up with the Kardashians. How about keeping up with the hygienists? But the main thing I've taken away from my first 12 months is that what we do really matters, and that we are the unsung heroes of the workplace, because people don't appreciate what we really do, and the impact we have in their lives, and their families' lives. And that's something we should never forget, and that's the reason why we do what we do. And as I boldly go forward in my career, exploring new frontiers, I'm excited and proud to call myself an occupational hygienist. And as our fellow hygienist Spock always says, 
live long and prosper. <laughs> Thank you.